up, Drop Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, there has been an all-out war breaking out on YouTube between two YouTubers. First, PSI Syndicate. He is a PC YouTuber with over 400,000 subscribers and a reaction YouTuber by the name of Blasphemous HD. Now he has multiple channels, but his reaction channel has 900,000 subscribers. Now this started about four months ago when PSI uploaded a video criticizing Blasphemous and his reaction videos. PSI, why did you make that video? So every time reaction channels were just kind of becoming popular and I didn't understand what the appeal to watching someone else watching the video was. So I pretty much made it so I could work out that and also just because I don't see it as really an ethical business model, uh, taking someone else's content and recording like six videos a day and making a crazy amount of money from that. So I just wanted to work out why the fuck people are watching this shit. You know, watching someone play a game is a bit different because we have to put, you know, input uh, the actual stuff. Some people are just too fucking lazy to do that. And um, also just to pretty much criticize what he's doing. It's just not ethical. So then about a couple months later, you're actually doing a reaction, uh, Blasphemous, and PSI's video ends up being in that video that you're doing a reaction of? Uh, yeah, so uh, first thing I wanna say is uh, PSI, like he was not in any way, shape, or form, even I didn't even know his clip was in the video. That video was not about him. That was just a reaction video uh, to a uh, top five countdown of most awkward Twitch, you know, situations that happened while on cam. And PSI Syndicate's clip just, you know, came up. Now, when his clip came up, you know, me being the type of commentator that I am, I tend to go off of the content that your whatever clip I'm watching. I'll pause the video, give my input, you know, which is usually pretty freaking long, which just so happened to be the same thing in this case. Uh, about a week and a half before I had even reacted to this video, um, like I was told by a couple of freaking different people that said they used to watch a lot of PSI Syndicate. They said that he was on drugs and that he was lying about staying with his, needing the money to stay with his mom. So with that being the case, these are the things that were in my head when I was watching that part of the clip. So I paused the video and I talked about it. I mean, I, that's how so I So you do. were, you now, were, you were talking about him doing drugs and, and all this other stuff in your reaction to this video that he happened to be in. Yeah, because I figured the way the fans had presented that to me, that it, it was factual. They said they had video clips and whatnot. Now, when I made uh, my latest video, the uh, one thing that I do remember seeing PSI Syndicate say, because I was there watching him give the live reaction, fucking epic. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, thank you. When your girlfriend agreed with me, man, it was like Not music. Girlfriend, yeah. All right, Best all right. We're, 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 what the fuck? We'll, we'll, get didn't to, agree we'll, you, yeah. we'll get to all that. So you make a reaction of a video that he's in. You roast him back. Your fans then start attacking PSI. PSI, you make a video talking about this, how you're getting death threats. People are telling you to kill yourself from Blasphemous's fans. What what happens next? Because like it just seems like this is an all-out war. Both of you have started to make videos about each other. Both of your fans are attacking each other's channels. Yeah, so I mean, basically everything you said in the video wasn't true and there's no uh, backing up to that. I understand his fans might have came in and said, oh, he's a drug addict and he lives with his mum and he begs for money on the internet. But uh, now that he said publicly in the video to all his fans, you've got a lot of, you've got big fucking viewer base, bless him. Um, he said to all his fans, I'm a drug addict or whatever. I live with my mother and beg for money. And I still live with my mother, which I'm not living with my, I don't, I'm living in America right now. Um, now everyone, all his fan base come to my videos and say all that shit and think that's actual, actually the truth. So, I mean, I made a video response to that video and just went back on again about the, you know, the whole unethical part of uh, reaction videos, which um, I guess that's the main issue there. 
uh, which I don't know if I can really ask you, Blasphemous, but how can you make six videos a day reacting to ch uh, videos which you don't have permission to upload? In fact, the video which you made, which was the five re uh, Twitch reaction, whatever the fuck it was called, that video was taken down because the guy who made it didn't want you to have it up on YouTube. So a lot of people will come to you or just want people to reach out to you to tell you to take a video down. And I don't know, you make money off of all of people's hard work and make in a Blas lot of money of that. Like, Blasphemous, the does PSI have a point? Are you like, you know, taking people's videos and basically profiting off of other people's works by these, uh, in his words, like lazy reaction videos? Yeah. Well, what it is is this is the content that my fans wanted me to make. Like I legitimately, it, it took eight months of them in two thirds of my comment section on my gaming channel telling me do reaction videos, do reaction videos, because I did like one or two, and they just started clamoring for me to do more. Never decide, never, ever, ever in a million years did I think it would get big. I mean, I even made a completely separate channel. Like the ones that were on my uh, gaming channel were like, you know, getting a lot of freaking views. Now I could have easily left my reactions on that channel and got a, little, a way more views, but I started a completely different channel because I didn't want to oversaturate my gaming channel, which is for my gaming content, you know, with all these videos that, you know, people initially wanted me to freaking do. Now, at the end of the day, this is the content that my fan base wants me to make. They love me for it. I literally have the BHP PSI, on me. PSI, what do you say to that? Yeah. I mean, he's saying okay. like his- it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if your fans tell you to do something, it's unethical. You do not ask people for permission. If you want to ask people for permission and make videos, fucking go for it, dude, honestly. But you don't have permission to make these videos from people. And many people have got issues with you making, like I said, about a million a year from your reaction channel. There's five ads on every single video. It's very money hungry shit, like I said before. But you now shit you do as well, rather than streaming on Twitch, is for money. You are very, a very money driven man. Like, I don't know what to say about that, but ask for permission first, then make the video. And you'll, you'll notice a lot of people will tell you, no, fuck off, you don't have permission. That's how it should be. They don't want you oh. to make money off of their videos. You steal views, essentially. You steal money from people, but you aren't giving them a cut of the revenue. Right, right. You're making, there's a reason you're able to make six videos a day on these and make you gaming videos and all that shit. I'm not gonna complain about that shit. That shit's awesome. I don't, I don't like watching that content personally. I don't know, why are you constantly laughing? Delicious. Mm. I <laughs> this I is uh, this so is so boring. This is so goddamn Dude, boring. No, I can't. I can't. Why is there beef between you guys? Like, I mean, I get you don't like reaction channels, um, and I get you don't like him criticizing you. But what's up this with all these like death threats and you know calling each other names and all this other shit? Because the way he, the way he, the way he went about it, he, I never said anything to this dude. He, the first time I ever heard of this dude was him making the video on me, calling me cunt, cunt, cunt. You know what a, a fucking asshole. Twat. Right, but then you, but then you, but then you responded saying that he was like a druggie, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is which <laughs> is not true, and it's child told you on that fan base. I'm a fucking druggie, and but I live off my mum's. And that, that is true. Which, my, all my views. It's which not, it is, is why, which is why I did not talk about that in the last video I made. Mention it in the last video. Saying it's not true, You didn't mention it at all. All you said in that video. Was I never mentioned it because it wasn't true and I don't have Why did you not correct yourself? Why did you not correct the fucking the delusional people. fanboys? You I tell them that was not true. So base, when I went back to the fans who, of yours who told me this stuff about you and asked for the video clips and the facts, when they didn't present them, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to present this to my people if it's not to be true. I still get it's not every single day on my videos. Bro, yeah, I, I understand. All but it, it, it tweets. Quit crying, dude. I I'm not crying, but why could you not correct yourself? Why could you not correct yourself? I apologize. You both did the same shit. I you didn't send my people. You I made couldn't. Twitch memes of me on Twitch talking and with the dolphin laugh bullshit, right? I watched the whole stream, dude. Don't sit there and act Wait, like seven hours of it? Some, in some freaking way, bro. Now, with that being said, the reason why I made the video about you is because you made that video, the first video, attacking me and my fan base. Basically telling me and all of my fans that they're dumbasses and cunts for enjoying I content. I that said you're I a cunt, you're a lazy them. piece of shit. No, see, I, I, and I'll say you're is, a cunt because see, you steal all people. is with someone of your with someone of something that someone of your intellectual caliber can't seem to freaking understand is yeah, I represent 
I represent my entire fan base. You attacking me, all well and good. I could honestly not give a fuck. I could see it coming from someone of your moral standing. But you make when then. you say that stuff about me, or, oh, you know, uh, reaction videos are shit, and, you know, people, I don't understand why people Blast, watch him. Why, why do you You're, say his moral standings? Like, what, what, what makes him unmoral? The only reason why he's making these videos is because he's jealous that I get more freaking views than him. I'm jealous to get a million dollars for being a lazy shit. Yeah, you're right. There's no denying that. Make but it. you Bruh. do. Look, at, you've got five videos on every single thought. You've got five outs on every single video. Blast, do you open? Do you upload five or six videos a day based on reactions? He does. Look at his fucking social plate. He 100%. You lie about how much money you make. You said you've got $10 in your PayPal or some bullshit. Like, you're full of fucking shit. All you say... You've, you've mentioned so many lies in the original you video, which is taken down now. Together, size syndicate, okay? What? Fix your shit. All you, right. What is fix your shit? That's all you said in this video. Fix your shit. It. What is wrong with my you shit? Your voice. Go into your butt and go in there and find someone to go with you with a tool, with belt, and what fix your shit. Now, what, what I'm mean? saying what is, you attacked me and my that? fan base. You telling, me. you basically upload a video telling tens of thousands of people that when they like my content, they're basically a moron. They're a cunt. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Dude, I watched the original dude, video. I didn't. I, I said so I don't understand. Gonna describe, I'm going to explain it to you in a way that even you can understand. I, I, and I, this I, is I, reaching really far. right? You should be able to understand this, right? Now, when my fans see that someone so high with subscribers and so popular on YouTube is making a video about how reaction videos are shit and how the content that they love to watch is only watched by dumbasses and cunts I never said that. that. Bro, I, I can bring up the video, bro. Okay, we, okay, we okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. Is there any way you two can make peace and call, <laughs> have a ceasefire here? Um... Yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro, we're we're done. I made the video. I I mean, I already in the last okay, video, so okay I with... already stated the points. You know, fix your shit. Shut the fuck okay. up. Okay. You know, okay. and the world does not revolve around you. Okay. Okay. Just, okay. Just, let's give let's give PSI a, a chance to respond. Okay. So in terms of uh, you know season end uh, end of whatever fuck end of war if you want to call it that because you know BHD army I'm twelve. Um. Then you first of all. <laughs> You need to, you're not going to do it, and I wouldn't do it, because it's fucking weird, but you need to make a video or mention somewhere, which a lot of people are going to see, that what you said is not true, because it isn't true. You tell me, tell people, loads of people that I'm a drug addict, like, honestly, your fan base is fucking massive. It's like, it's outweighing my fans. Like, I don't have that big of an audience to say that. It's going to make my own fans believe, because everyone else is saying it, and everyone else is thumbing it up, you know, that I'm actually a fucking drug addict, and that I live with my parents, which I don't, I live in America right now. Well, um, you know, man, you, you're, you're not going to do that. You're, look, man, I'm just... I'm saying, you know, that that sounds like a personal problem. Maybe next time you'll shut the fuck up and you won't have problem? these problems. You lie to your fan base. I didn't lie. You are lazy up. shit. You, you do steal content. Problems, you, you know, even when you mentioned that those guys slid in your DMs or whatever, you made a video without their permission, <laughs> then they slid in your DMs. Okay? It doesn't. What's so you funny? You made a video, bruh. You're, you're, you're probably the biggest hypocrite I've ever talked to. How am I a hypocrite? What am I saying? You're sitting here miracle. telling me about how I made a video about you without your permission. Bro, the first video I ever saw of you was you making a video about me, picking me apart, negatively That's attacking cool. me right. and right. my That's fans. Right. Right. Because That's guess what? what? My fans are going to go into the comment section and they're going to be like, you know, we're going to defend Blasphemous HD because we love this content. You know, by the way, you say that, you know, oh, it's just money grabbing and oh, you know, I'm you know, posting shitless content. Bro, I'm a reaction channel, right? So supposedly. But if I had so little commentary, I have this thing called the Blasphemous HD uh, Try Not to Laugh Challenge. My fans take my clips of my videos with, when the videos aren't playing of me giving commentary, chop it up and turn it into funny fucking shit. 10 minute videos. I have re I've reacted to a good amount of those. Shout out the Jagged Salad. Right, and right, Hunch right, right. Okay, SK. okay. Blasphemous. Let me ask you a question. Okay, so you do reaction channels, all right? And then you also actually like do creative stuff that that you think of your yourself. You write songs, you you dub gaming uh, sequences and stuff. You do all this other stuff as well. True. Is it fair to say that the content you make on your reaction channel is a really easy, like, uh, easy thing to do 
and that it pays out well and it's a cheap way to make money compared to the other things you do. I'm glad that you bring this point up. It is not, uh, to me, it's not easy to do. You have to have my personality. Dude, size it's syndicate, it's easy for you. Size syndicate you, yeah, cannot I, do this. He I wouldn't do it because I'm ethical. I, Bro, I wouldn't want to fucking do it. That's dude. all well and good, but what I'm telling you is your opinion is your opinion. The world does not revolve it's around you. Ethical. It's fans, bringing YouTube to US. You have a copyright claim on your channel for a reason. My, come, my fans come to me. Why do you have a copyright claim? Tell me what your copyright claim is. What's your copyright claim? What's your copyright claim? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. He's asking you a question. Do you have a copyright claim? Of course I do. Do you get a, do you get a, I mean, I, I hear that a lot of reaction channels have a problem with getting a tons of copyright complaints. Bruh, and stuff. I, dude, that's why it is so hilarious to me that this dude thinks that I'm balling out of control. Look, what? You think I'm balling out of control, bro? Sense. Most of near, near, oh, well, here. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. PSI. Let me explain it. Let me ex let me explain it. Um, so Jinx said that yes, he gets a ton of views. But a lot of people content ID his videos, the original creator of the video, where the money on Jinx's channel would actually go to the original content creator. Is that what you're saying, Blasphemous? That that people content ID your videos and the money actually goes to the original content creator? For the love of God, yes. Now yeah, I'm not saying, saying, Is there no, a I'm way to... Saying. The thing is, is like... We've heard this claim before, but is there a way to like prove it? Like, yeah, how, just take a picture of your video manager. Like, how much? Um, how? Motherfucker! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm sorry. Blast! Blast! Whoa. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask. Here. Okay. Let me get. Let me get this question in real quick. Okay, uh, on okay. the percentage of videos that you upload. All right. right. Uh, uh, let's say you upload ten videos. How many of those do you get paid on? My my biggest. Uh, my biggest videos, which are always Vine compilations, I try to get out one every day. I do. I I don't know if the money is going to whoever original content creator, or whatever, but it's always claimed by uh, a network. I don't want to mention a name because I don't know. Right, if right, 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 right. I I understand that, but I'm saying you upload. Um, let's say you upload six videos a day. How many of those do you get paid on? About two or three. About two well, or that's, three. That's half. I mean, that's still five hundred thousand a year. If half of them are getting paid for. Not, for the love of God. What? <laughs> Dude, my point is. So you only make like five hundred thousand dollars a year? <laughs> I just. Dude, it's not. It's not about the money. It's about me making content that my fans love to see from me. How does that not matter? Does that not matter? It, it, just, it doesn't care? matter because it's unethical. That's it. It's unethical. So, so you say it's unethical. So one of your points is you say it doesn't help the content creator. I would like to refer to some, what, what's this guy named? Duke the Killer, right? I reacted to one of his videos, what, three weeks ago. This guy had 400K subs. Channel was pretty much dying off because he had stopped making content for about, you know, only one or two videos a month. I reacted to one of his videos. Dude started gaining a thousand subscribers a day from 40 subscribers a day. Right. Go social media. Right. Go we, get social media. We, we get now, that. We get that. So there's there's situations where it helps the content creators, but then there's situations well, where it hurts yeah. them. Right. Can we agree on that? Yeah. I, I cannot agree on that. I would not like. So what, you think it helps the content example? creator when you review them 100% of the time? I would have to say in my case, yes. I've never said something grimy about a YouTube or a, a YouTuber, unless it's, it's not syndicate. It's, it's not about grimy, it's right. about search results. If you're like, you've got a larger audience than a lot of people who will make really good videos. So then when people search for those, they'll find your videos. That's where a lot of your audiences came and, from. It's from and search results and recommended big, videos. Bruh, bruh, you know what, You, I think, I think you need to go and talk to the smaller content creators that have, you know, I've reacted to their freaking video, dude. I brought a lot of freaking traffic. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been going on for a while. We're going to have to leave it here. Guys, let us know in the comments below who you think is in the right, who is in the wrong. Is it PSI? Is it Blasphemous HD? Please let us know. Guys, if you enjoyed this debate, please slap a like on it. Drum and Alert Nation now over 1 million. 110,000 subscribers. I've said my fucking subscriber number wrong for the last three <laughs> videos. That's okay. All right, good, good debate. Number.